what's up welcome to another tutorial on my channel so first of all thank you so much for the uh, great response on my my year 2018 video we're closing in to 8,000 views and soon 10,000 hopefully so today we are taking a look at the dolly zoom effect in final cut pro you may have seen this before for example it's actually integrated into the dji mavic 2 zoom as the mavic is going backwards it appears that the background is getting closer there is a way to do this inside of final cut pro or premiere pro uh, the workflow isn't that different between those two so to do the dolly zoom you should have your raw footage shot in 4k and it should move either forward or backwards first of all i'm just gonna crop it to 110 so we get get those uh, sidebars away and you, we can add a letterbox later on take your clip and you add a keyframe on the scale scale all to the end of the clip and go one frame back then you take the scale you drag it up to for example 140 so this one I want to speed up a bit and you can see the dolly zoom effect so with this shot I want to speed up the first part and then do the dolly zoom from right about here so we're gonna do the dull zoom from here to here then again so for this one you can see it moves forward and not backwards so it's kind of like the opposite dolly zoom Let's go to the first frame and we're gonna scale it up in the start okay, 145 is good hit the keyframe on all go to the last frame and hit one left one frame up and then go back down to 10 let's take a look so you can see that the background seems to go further away while the drone is moving forward so it's kind of opposite of uh, the dolly zoom but now we just need to fix this you can see that the uh, clip hair jumps suddenly to 145 scale I'm gonna keep it on 110 here and hit the keyframe go over here go one frame back and go to 145 First of all, it zooms in and then stops, and then the opposite dolly zoom. So, to make this more cinematic, I'm gonna add a grid layer and a letterbox. So, I'm just gonna take the adjustment tool. So these are quite different, so I'm gonna add two different LUTs. So, to these drone clips, I'm gonna add some drone LUTs, which I'm releasing next week surfing in Lofoden. Apply preset. I'm gonna take this down to 60%. And for this clip, I am going for the tropical sign. And take it down to yeah, 60%. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. And next week, I will be dropping the drone LUT pack. So stay tuned for another tutorial Tuesday, but until then, peace!